30 rare pickup trucks ever made. For decades, pickup trucks have epitomized practicality, serving as reliable workhorses for those in need. However, as consumer preferences evolve, so did the demand for customization and style. No longer content with basic utility, people sought the same level of individuality and flair found in passenger cars. This quickly ushered in the era of special edition trucks. These unique variants went beyond mere cosmetic changes, offering a range of enhancements to cater to diverse tastes. From exclusive colors and badges to high performance upgrades, these trucks pushed the boundaries of what a pimp could be. Some were bold and outrageous, while others perfectly balanced style and substance. So join us and prepare to be amazed as we unveil a collection of pickup trucks that were rare back then and even rarer today. Number one, 1976 Ford F-Series Spirit of 76. In 1976, Ford celebrated America's bicentennial with a special edition F-Series pickup truck called the Spirit of 76. Unlike some over-the-top patriotic editions, Ford kept things tasteful and restrained. The truck was available in two classic colors, Wimbledon White and Bahama Blue. The exterior was adorned with a wide golden eagle crest and stripe, complemented by blue and red pinstripes. Inside, the Spirit of 76 featured blue vinyl seats with red, white, and blue play cloth inserts, giving it a unique yet understated patriotic flair. The same evil crest found on the exterior was also placed on the glove compartment, adding a touch of consistency to the design. This special edition wasn't about flashy features or powerful upgrades. It was a nod to America's heritage. Due to its subtlety and the limited number produced, the Ford F-Series Spirit of 76 is rare today. Collectors value its historical significance and Ford's careful balance in celebrating the nation's bicentennial without going overboard. Number two, Ford Durango. The Ford Durango, produced between 1979 and 1982, is a rare and intriguing vehicle born from a collaboration between Ford and National Coach Works in Los Angeles. Intended as a successor to the Ford Ranchero, the Durango was based on the Ford Fairmont Futura. It featured a unique coupe utility design, merging the characteristics of a sedan and a pickup truck. The vehicle's production numbers are notably low, with estimates ranging from 200 to 350 units, making it a true collector's item. Number three, Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser. Introduced in 1987, the Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser was inspired by Bob Chandler's legendary Bigfoot monster truck. This special edition truck was designed to capture the rugged adventurous spirit of the monster truck while being practical for everyday use. With only 300 units produced, it's a rare gem today. This rarity stems from its limited production run and the niche market it targeted. The Durango's design included a fiberglass truck bed and tailgate, produced by G&K Fiberglass and a reconfigured rear window and fold-down tailgate, adding functionality and aesthetic appeal. Under the hood, the Durango housed a 200 cubic inch inline six engine, paired with a three-speed automatic transmission, delivering modest but reliable performance. The Durango's scarcity is further compounded by the abrupt end of its production following the death of its creator, Jim Stevenson. Today, finding a Ford Durango in good condition is a rare treat for automotive enthusiasts, reflecting its unique place in automotive history. The Bigfoot Cruiser came with a distinctive package that included custom graphics, a 3-inch lift kit, heavy-duty shocks, and 33-inch tires. It also featured a double-hoop roll bar, off-road lights, and an aftermarket front bumper with an integrated winch, enhancing its off-road capabilities and giving it a bold look. Powered by a robust V8 engine, the Bigfoot Cruiser had the muscle to back up its rugged appearance. Its limited production and unique features make it a highly sought-after model among Ford enthusiasts and collectors. The Bigfoot Cruiser's legacy as a nod to the monster truck phenomenon of the 1980s adds to its charm, making it a significant piece of automotive history. Number four, Dodge Low Red Express. The Dodge Low Red Express, produced for just two years in 1978 and 1979, is one of the most iconic and collectible trucks from the late 1970s. This special edition truck was part of Dodge's adult toys lineup, designed to offer muscle car performance in a pickup truck package. What set the Lil Red Express apart was its bold styling and exceptional performance for its time. Under the hood, the Lil Red Express was equipped with a 360 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 225 horsepower, making it the fastest American-made vehicle from zero to 100 mile per hour, as tested by Car and Driver Magazine. 
The truck's unique features included chrome-plated vertical exhaust stacks, wood-trimmed bed rails, and distinctive decals. These elements gave the Lil Red Express a striking look that turned heads wherever it went. With a combination of muscle car performance and standout styling made this beast a hit, but its production was limited, with only 7,306 units built over its two-year run. This looted production has made the Lil Red Express highly sought after among collectors, making it a prized and valuable classic. Number 5. Subaru Brat the Subaru Brat, short for Bike Drive Recreational All-Terrain Transporter, was produced from 1978 to 1987. This unique vehicle combined a compact car's features with a pickup truck's utility. Based on the Subaru Leon, the Brat featured two rear-facing jump seats in the truck bed, a clever design to avoid certain import tariffs on light trucks. This quirky feature became one of its most recognizable elements. Under the hood, the Brat came with Subaru's reliable flat four engines, providing decent power and excellent fuel efficiency. Its four-wheel drive capability made it great for light off-road use appealing to outdoor enthusiasts. The Brat's compact size and versatility made it popular in rural areas and among young drivers looking for a practical and fun vehicle. Despite its popularity, the Subaru Brat was produced in limited numbers and well-preserved models are highly sought after by collectors. Number six, Powell Pickup Truck. The Powell Pickup Truck, produced by Powell Manufacturing Company between 1955 and 1957, showcases post-war American ingenuity. Known initially for their scooters, the company made a bold move into the automotive market with this unique vehicle. Built mainly from refurbished 1940 and 1941 Plymouth chassis and engines, the Powell pickup was rugged and full of character. A standout feature was its fishing pole storage tube that slid out from between the inner and outer fender, highlighting the brand's inventive spirit. It was available in various configurations, including a deluxe model with two-tone seats and a diamond plate rear bumper. Despite its practical design and affordability, only about 1,000 units were produced. The Powell pickup's rarity stems from its limited production and the company's bankruptcy in 1957. Today, these trucks are highly sought after by collectors for their historical significance and unique blend of recycled parts and innovative features. Finding a well-preserved Powell pickup is a rare treat, making a prized possession among vintage truck enthusiasts. Number seven, Plymouth PT-57. The Plymouth PT-57, introduced in 1938, is a rare gem from a time when Plymouth briefly entered the pickup truck market. Built during a period of economic recovery and impending war, the PT-57 combined robust engineering with the 1930s aesthetic appeal. It featured a 201.3 cubic inch L-head six-cylinder engine, producing 70 horsepower, and was known for its all-steel body construction and aerodynamic design. Plymouth's short production run and decision to stop making trucks after the 1941 model year contribute to the PT-57's rarity. The stylish design with rounded fenders and a commanding grille makes it a coveted collector's item. Despite its utilitarian roots, the PT-57 offered a blend of durability and style that has secured its place in automotive history. Finding a Plymouth PT-57 in good condition is exceptionally rare, as many were used extensively for labor and few had survived over the years. Those that remain are highly valued, often fetching high prices at auctions and becoming centerpieces in vintage vehicle collections. Number eight, GMC Bo James. The GMC Bo James, introduced in 1975, was a special edition luxury pickup truck that epitomized the blend of comfort and utility. This unique model was named after GM's vice president, James M. Roch, reflecting its high-end status. The Bo James featured a distinctive two-tone paint job, usually silver and blue, with special Bo James badging. It was equipped with all the top-tier amenities available at the time, including power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, and a plush interior with deep pile carpeting and deluxe upholstery. Built on a heavy duty C15 chassis, the Bo James was designed for both style and performance. It came standard with a 454 V8 engine, providing ample power for any task. The combination of its luxurious features and robust performance made it a standout in the GMC lineup. However, its production was limited, contributing to its rarity today. Finding a Bo James in good condition is a rare treat for collectors. Its blend of luxury and functionality, combined with its limited production run, makes it a highly sought after model. Number nine, Chevy Big 10 truck. The Chevy Big 10 truck, which was introduced in the 70s, was a robust and versatile vehicle designed to meet the demands of heavy duty tasks. Known for its rugged capabilities, the Big 10 was part of the C or K series and offered features that set it apart from its counterparts. 
It came with options for heavy duty front springs, reinforced rear suspensions, and power brakes, making it ideal for towing and hauling. The truck could be equipped with a powerful 454 V8 engine, providing substantial power for various uses. Despite its practical design and performance, the Big Ten was produced in limited quantities, especially those equipped with a 454 engine. This limited production has made it a sought after model among classic truck enthusiasts. The Big Ten's ability to bypass emissions regulations of the time, due to its higher gross vehicle weight rating, also added to its appeal. Today, finding a Chevy Big Ten is a rare occurrence, and those that occasionally pop up often fetch high prices at auctions. Number 10, Ford Unibody Truck. The Ford Unibody Truck is a notable chapter in Ford's long history of innovation in truck design. Produced in 1963, this model featured a unique integrated design where the cab and the bed were formed as a single continuous piece. This design was intended to streamline production and provide a smoother, more aesthetically pleasing appearance. The unibody construction was available on the F100 and F250 models, offering increased cargo space and a sleeker look. However, unibody design presented challenges. Issues with structural integrity under heavy loads led to durability concerns, ultimately limiting its popularity among truck buyers. As a result, Ford reverted to the traditional body-on-frame design. After just a few years of production, this brief production run has contributed to the unibody truck's rarity today. Finding a well-maintained Ford unibody truck is a rare opportunity for collectors, reflecting a bold experiment in automotive design that remains a fascinating footnote in the story of American pickups. Number 11, Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition. The Dodge Rod Hall Signature Edition, produced in a limited run of 33 units in 1990, is a result of a collaboration between professional off-road racer Rod Hall and Carroll Shelby. This unique 4x4 pickup truck was inspired by Baja Racing, featuring Baja Racing paint schemes and high-performance parts. Equipped with Rancho shocks and springs, power steering, power brakes, and a light bar, the Rod Hall Signature Edition was designed for rugged off-road performance. Under the hood, it houses a 5.2-liter V8 engine, paired with an A727 Torque Flight 3-speed automatic transmission, producing 170 horsepower. Although not exceptionally powerful, the Rod Hall Signature Edition's real strength lies in its off-road capabilities and unique design elements. The limited production of only 33 units adds to its exclusivity and desirability among collectors. This truck also represents a unique chapter in Dodge's history, combining the expertise of a legendary racer with the engineering prowess of Carroll Shelby. Number 12, 1981 Chevrolet C10 Rollin Rebel. The 1981 Chevrolet C10 Rollin Rebel stands out among the square body GM pickup trucks, known for their special editions. Built on a short bed Chevy C10 chassis by Choo Choo Customs in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the Rollin Rebel boasts unique features that make it a collector's dream. Its eye catching graphics might scream the 1970s, but the Rollin Rebel was exclusively released in 1981. This truck's striking silver paint scheme with gray inserts and red pinstripe that sets it apart. Inside, you'll find unique red velour upholstery, adding a touch of retro luxury. It also features special wheels and tires, chrome bumpers, a front air dam, aerodynamic side steps, and a roofline spoiler, enhancing both its appearance and performance. Under the hood, the Roland Rebel is powered by a 305 cubic inch V8 engine, which was typical for short bed models at the time. Available only in the custom deluxe trim, each Roland Rebel is uniquely identified by a numbered plaque on its wooden dashboard, marking its authenticity. This truck is a perfect blend of style and performance, making it a rare gem. Number 13, 1979 GMC Amarillo. The 1979 GMC Amarillo is a testament to GMC's effort to create a unique and powerful truck. This series was commissioned by American Coach Corporation from Warren, Ohio, available in three distinct models. The base Amarillo, Amarillo GT, and the top tier Amarillo Cowboy Cadillac. The Amarillo is notable for its vibrant yellow paint job with red and orange graphics and lettering, making it stand out on the road. The base Amarillo features Land Rover 60 BF Goodrich tires, while the Amarillo GT upgrades to larger over 70 radials fin wheels, a color matching front air dam, a roofline spoiler, and chrome side pipes. The range topping Amarillo Cowboy Cadillac takes luxury further. The softer upholstery, interior trim, a headliner carpet, and a trucker's lounge seat for added comfort. Under the hood, the 1979 GMC Amarillo is powered by a 240 horsepower, 454 cubic inch V8 engine. 
This powerful engine, combined with slick BF Goodrich radials, allowed the Amarillo to run quarter miles in just 15.6 seconds, making it one of the fastest trucks of its time. The Amarillo's blend of performance and distinctive styling makes it a coveted model among collectors. Number 14, Dodge Ram D50. The Dodge Ram D50, introduced in 1979, was Dodge's answer to the growing demand for compact pickups in the American market. Built by Mitsubishi and rebranded by Dodge, the Ram D50 combined Japanese engineering with American branding. This compact truck came with various engine options, including a 2.0 liters and 2.6 liters inline four, providing a balance of power and fuel efficiency. The Ram D50 also offered two and four wheel drive variants, appealing to many consumers from city drivers to off-road enthusiasts. The truck's design was simple yet functional, featuring a spacious cargo bed and an optional extended cab for additional passenger or cargo space. The 4X4 model, known as the Power Ram 50, was particularly notable for its off-road capabilities, making a favorite among adventure seekers. Despite its versatility and practical design, the Ram D50 was produced in relatively limited numbers, especially the four-wheel drive models. This adds to its rarity today, making it a coveted piece for those who appreciate the history and evolution of compact pickups. Number 15, Greenbrier Ramside. The Chevrolet Greenbrier Ramside, introduced in the 60s, stands out with its innovative side loading ramp. This feature made it incredibly convenient for loading and unloading heavy or awkward items, setting it apart from other pickups of the time. Built on the Corvair platform, the ram side boasted a rear-mounted, air-cooled flat-six engine, providing a low center of gravity and improved handling and stability. The ram side's design was unconventional, with a focus on practicality and ease of use. Its unique side ramp was particularly beneficial for small businesses and people needing efficient cargo access. However, the ramp side's unconventional design also meant it faced competition from more traditional pickups, resulting in relatively short production run and limited market presence. Today, the Greenbrier ramp side is a rare find, cherished by collectors for its distinctive design and historical significance. Classic pickup truck lovers appreciate the ramp side for its practicality and role in showcasing Chevrolet's innovative spirit during the early 1960s. Number 16, 1983 to 1987 Chevrolet El Camino SS Choo Choo. The 1983 to 1987 Chevrolet El Camino SS Choo Choo is a rare gem from the Tennessee-based Choo Choo Customs, who also worked on the Roland Rebel. Over five years, Choo Choo Customs transformed 4,950 El Camino units into SS models, with 587 in 1983 in varying numbers each year thereafter. Despite the iconic SS badge, these vehicles were essentially standard El Caminos with aesthetic upgrades. They included a custom-built SS grille from previous models and an aerodynamic polyurethane front nose. The interior also featured a distinctive Trome Train logo above the glove compartment, signifying its choo-choo heritage. And while the body got a makeover, the performance remained unchanged. The SS badge on these models didn't enhance their power, but added a unique look and feel. However, the El Camino SS Choo Choo models are cherished for their unique place in El Camino history, blending classic design with custom craftsmanship. Collectors seek these models for their rarity and the story behind their creation. Number 17, GMC Indy 500. The GMC Indy 500 edition trucks, produced between 1974 and 1984, were special vehicles designed to celebrate GMC's involvement with the Indianapolis 500. These trucks featured distinctive white and gold paint schemes, often with unique decals and badges that set them apart from the standard models. The design paid homage to the cars used in the races, making them instantly recognizable and highly collectible. Under the hood, these trucks typically offered powerful V8 engines, ensuring they had the performance to match their striking appearance. The combination of performance and exclusive styling made them appealing to racing fans and truck enthusiasts. The production numbers were limited, adding an element of explosivity that makes finding one in good condition today quite rare. Collectors appreciate the GMC Indy 500 trucks for their unique place in automotive history and their connection to one of America's most iconic motor races. The limited production run and distinctive features also make these trucks highly sought after. When one appears at an auction, it attracts considerable attention, reflecting its status as a prize collector's item. The GMC Indy 500 trucks remain a testament to the era of special edition vehicles that celebrated motorsport heritage. Number 18, 1979 to 1982 Plymouth Aero Sport Pickup. The Plymouth Aero Sport Pickup may have been overshadowed by its competitors, 
but its unique features make it a noteworthy addition to the world of compact trucks. Despite sharing its name with the Plymouth Aero hatchback, this pickup was actually a clone of the Mitsubishi Fort, known today as the Triton or L200. Powered by the same Astron engine found in its hatchback counterpart, the Aero pickup offered a surprising sport package. Available in striking two-tone paint or with eye-catching multicolor striping, the Aero Sport pickup stood out on the road. Colors ranged from classic black and red to vibrant yellow, orange, beige, and gold. The package also included contrasting color wheels and bumblebee striped bucket seats, adding to its sporty appeal. While the Aero pickup may not have significantly impacted the competitive truck market, it holds a unique place in automotive history as Plymouth's first and only post-war rear-wheel drive truck. Despite its obscurity, the Aero Sport pickup remains a fascinating example of automotive design and innovation from the late 1970s to the early 1980s. Number 19, Dodge D100. The Dodge D100, part of the D-Series lineup, was a versatile and durable pickup truck that became a staple for Dodge from its introduction in 1960 until 1980. The D100 was known for its robust construction and reliable performance, featuring a range of engine options, from the economical slant six engines to powerful V8s. This variety allowed the D100 to cater to both light duty and more demanding tasks, making it popular among both urban and rural users. The design of the D100 was both functional and stylish, with options for different bed lengths and styles, including the sleek swept line and the traditional Uteline. The truck's interior was straightforward, emphasizing practicality with durable materials and a layout designed for ease of use. Despite its widespread use, the D100 models produced in the 1960s and 1970s are relatively rare today, especially those in good condition. Its durability and versatility, combined with a limited number of surviving well-preserved models, make the D100 a valuable addition to any vintage vehicle collection. Number 20, Jeep Comanche. The Jeep Comanche produced from 1986 to 1992 was a distinctive compact pickup truck based on the Jeep Cherokee platform. Known for its rugged build and off-road capabilities, the Comanche was offered with both rear wheel and four wheel drive configurations, catering to a wide range of users. Engine options included a 2.5 liters inline four and the more powerful 4.0 liters inline six, the latter providing robust performance that was highly regarded by enthusiasts. The Comanche's design was practical and straightforward, featuring a unibody construction that combined a cab and bed into a single piece, enhancing structural rigidity and reducing weight. Available with either a six foot or seven foot bed, the Comanche offered considerable versatility for a compact truck. Despite its capabilities and popularity, production numbers were relatively low, partly due to internal competition within Chrysler's lineup and market shifts towards larger trucks and SUVs. Today, the Jeep Comanche is a rare find, Cherished by collectors for its off-road prowess and unique design, its limited production run and historical significance, as Jeep's last pickup truck until the introduction of the Gladiator in 2019. Make a coveted model in the world of classic trucks. Number 21, 1957-1959 Dodge D100 Swepside. The Dodge D100 Swepside was Dodge's stylish answer to the Chevy Cameo and Ford Ranchero featuring finned rear fenders and a wraparound rear bumper. Borrowed from the Dodge Suburban Station Wagon, the sweat side was a striking blend of car-like aesthetics and truck utility. It came standard with a 315 cubic inch V8 engine, delivering robust performance for its time. The sweat side's design was both functional and fashionable, with a cargo bed that seamlessly integrated into the vehicle's overall styling. Despite its impressive looks and performance, the swept side was produced in limited numbers, partly due to its higher production costs and the mate market targeted. This limited production has made the swept side a rare find today. Enthusiasts and collectors highly value the Dodge D100 swept side for its unique design and limited availability. Finding one in good condition is a significant achievement, often requiring restoration due to the vehicle's age. The swept side remains a symbol of 1950s automotive innovation, blending the lines between utility and style in a way that few trucks of its era did. Number 22, 1989 Dodge Shelby Dakota. If you're into rare sport trucks, you've probably heard of the 1989 Dodge Shelby Dakota. It's a bit of a legend in the truck world, and for good reason. Only 1,500 of these bad boys were ever made, with 640 sporting a sleek white finish and 860 flaunting a fiery red coat. But it's not just about the paint job with the Shelby Dakota. This truck was all about performance and style. It had unique body graphics and lettering, 15-inch five-spoke hollow alloy wheels, a mean-looking front air dam, 
and Bosch auxiliary lights mounted below a blacked out grill. And let's not forget about that cab mounted fiberglass light bar. But what really set the Shelby Dakota apart is what's under the hood. While other Dakotas were chugging along with four bangers or V6 engines, the Shelby Dakota was powered by a beefy 5.2 liters Magnum V8, pumping out 175 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. This truck meant business, and thanks to some clever engineering, they managed to squeeze in an electric fan to make room for that powerful V8. In 1989, the Shelby Dakota was the king of the road, offering unmatched performance in a stylish package. Number 23, GMC Foxy Sierra. Ever heard of the GMC Foxy Sierra? If not, you're not alone. This truck is a bit of a mystery, even among truck enthusiasts. Built by Alpha Vehicles Incorporated from South Elkhart, Indiana, the Foxy Sierra is one of the lesser known square body GM pickups out there. Unlike other special editions, details about the Foxy Sierra are scarce. We don't know exactly how many were made, or even which years they were produced. But despite the mystery surrounding it, the Foxy Sierra had its own unique charm. With special hood and side stripes, along with a custom interior featuring unique upholstery and carpeting, this truck definitely stood out from the crowd. Some lucky owners even got the optional bed-mounted roll bar with driving lights, adding an extra touch of ruggedness to an already stylish ride. While the Foxy Sierra may not have the same recognition as some of its counterparts, it's still a fascinating piece of truck history. And who knows, maybe one day we'll uncover more about this intriguing pickup. Number 24, Dodge D-Series Custom. The Dodge D-Series, produced from 1961 to 1993, included numerous variations and special editions, with the custom models standing out for their unique features and enhanced performance. The D-Series trucks were known for their rugged durability and versatility, the range of engine options, including the reliable Slant 6 and powerful V8s. The custom models often featured upgraded interiors, distinctive paint schemes, and additional performance enhancements. These custom D-Series trucks were not mass-produced, making them less common than the standard models. Their unique features and limited availability add to their appeal among collectors. The combination of practical utility and personalized touches makes each custom D-Series truck a unique piece of automotive history. Owners and enthusiasts prize these trucks for their robust construction and the nostalgic appeal of their custom features. Whether used for work or play, the custom D-Series models embody the spirit of American pickup trucks. Finding a well-preserved model today can be quite rewarding as it reflects the enduring legacy of Dodge's commitment to quality and innovation in truck design. Number 25, Willys FC-150. The Willys FC-150, introduced in 1956, was part of the Jeep Forward Control Series designed to offer a compact, highly maneuverable truck for both civilian and military use. The Forward Control name came from its distinctive cab over-engine design, which maximized cargo space while keeping the overall length short. This design made the FC-150 an excellent vehicle for tasks requiring tight turns and efficient use of space. Powered by the reliable 2.2 liters Hurricane inline four engine, the SC-150 offered decent power for its size, coupled with Jeep's renowned four-wheel drive system, making it capable of handling rough terrain and challenging conditions. The truck's compact dimensions and robust build made it popular among utility companies, farmers, and small business owners who needed a versatile workhorse. Despite its practical design, the FC-150 was produced in relatively limited numbers, which has made surviving examples increasingly rare. Number 26, 1977 GMC Desert Fox. The 1977 GMC Desert Fox stands out as a striking special edition that graced both the Sierra pickup truck and the Jimmy SUV lineups, offering a blend of style and versatility. Available in both fender side and wide side body styles, as well as rear and four wheel drive configurations, the Desert Fox catered to a wide range of preferences. Its most distinctive feature was its captivating buckskin paint job, complemented by five additional stripe colors, making it a head turner on any road. Priced at $1,731 upon its release, the Desert Fox package was a worthy investment for those seeking a standout vehicle. Beyond its eye-catching exterior, the Desert Fox boasted additional features aimed at enhancing both aesthetics and functionality. A standard roll bar with dual Sibi lamps added a rugged touch, while matching color P, a six sport wheels completed the look with finesse. Moreover, buyers had the option to customize their Desert Fox with amenities, such as air conditioning, cruise control, and various other upgrades, ensuring a comfortable and enjoyable driving experience. It's worth noting that the Desert Fox wasn't a factory installed package. Instead, it was expertly crafted by Hickey Enterprises Incorporated, based in Ventura, California, adding an extra layer of exclusivity to this already rare find. Number 27, 
Hudson Big Boy, The Hudson Big Boy, produced from 1939 to 1947, is a classic example of Hudson's approach to blending style and functionality in a trucks. The Big Boy was available in both half-ton and three-quarter ton versions, featuring robust construction and a powerful inline six-cylinder engine. This engine provided the necessary torque and power to handle heavy loads, making the Big Boy a reliable workhorse during its time. The design of the Big Boy was both practical and aesthetically pleasing, with a streamlined body that included integrated fenders and a spacious cargo bed. Despite its solid engineering and attractive design, the production numbers were relatively low, especially for the pre-war models, which adds to its rarity today. The post-war models were slightly more common, but the Hudson Big Boy remains rare. Collectors and vintage truck enthusiasts appreciate the Hudson Big Boy for its durability and the craftsmanship that went into its design, as the Hudson Big Boy stands as a symbol of the ingenuity and quality that characterized American trucks in the early 20th century. Number 28, Ford Ranger GT. The Ford Ranger GT, introduced in 1987 and produced until 1989, was a special edition of the popular Ford Ranger compact pickup. This sporty variant was designed to offer enhanced performance and unique styling features that set apart from the standard Ranger models. The Ranger GT was equipped with a 2.9 liters Kalon V6 engine, delivering around 140 horsepower, paired with a five-speed manual or a four-speed automatic transmission. What made the Ranger GT particularly notable was its sport tune suspension, which provided improved handling and a more engaging driving experience. The exterior featured distinctive decals, a front air dam, and unique alloy wheels, giving it a more aggressive and stylish appearance. Inside, the Ranger GT offered sport bucket seats and a well-appointed interior with additional gauges and trim enhancements. Despite its appealing features, the Ranger GT was produced in limited numbers, making it a relatively rare sight today. Number 29, 1976 GMC Impact Edition. The 1976 GMC Impact Edition is a standout in the world of classic pickup trucks, often mistaken for the spirit of 76 edition due to their shared marketing year. The Impact Edition boasts distinctive features that set it apart. Sporting striking red, white, and blue strobe side body and hood stripes, reminiscent of the spirit of 76 editions. These pickups also draw inspiration from the 1975 Indy truck, evident in their stylish stripes. Notably, the Impact Edition offered flexibility with the option of all red stripes, adding to its allure. Crafted by the Motortown Corporation of Dearborn, Michigan, these trucks received more than just cosmetic enhancements. The package included functional front air dam revisions, front and rear wheel flares, and dual custom outside mirrors, ensuring style and functionality. Additionally, buyers could opt for extra features like a roof air deflector, painted cargo bed, and Delco AM or FM stereo units, further customizing their ride. Available exclusively for wide side half ton and three quarter ton trucks, the Impact Edition catered to discerning drivers seeking a blend of uniqueness and performance. With its distinct design elements and thoughtful upgrades, the 1976 GMC Impact Edition remains a coveted gem among pickup truck enthusiasts. Number 30, 1972 Chevrolet Highlander. The 1972 Chevrolet Highlander pickup is a rare gem known for its unique plate upholstery package, setting it apart from other pickup trucks of the era, originally offered as an option to the 1972 Chevy Suburban and Blazer. The Highlander package is a testament to Chevrolet's penchant for customization. Despite its rarity, the Highlander package was available across a wide range of Chevy pickup sizes, making it accessible to various buyers with different needs. While few seat covers may have survived the test of time, the Highlander's Ali remains intact, capturing the imagination of collectors and classic pickup truck lovers. The Highlander allowed owners to infuse their trucks with personality and flair, featuring four distinct tartan upholstery color options, blue, gray, avocado green, and orange. To qualify for this distinctive package, buyers had to opt for the custom deluxe Z62 RPO trim, which included a chrome front bumper, power steering, turbo hydromatic transmission, and special wheel covers for C10 pickups, or chrome hubcaps for larger C20 and C30 trucks. The Highlander pickup embodies Chevrolet's commitment to offering personalized touches to its customers, blending style and functionality in equal measure. With its rare upholstery and thoughtful enhancements, the 1972 Chevrolet Highlander pickup remains a sought-after treasure for those seeking a unique piece of automotive history. So, what do you think about these rare and unique trucks? Which of these trucks was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating automotive content. Until next time, thanks for watching.